Right, this is a quick bonus video, which I'm going to try and make as short and painless as possible because I am in absolute freaking agony today. Um, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my mega favorite number. That's a number over 1 million that happens to be my favorite. Now, before we get to the number, a little bit of a preamble. I think you'll agree that the sum of any set of numbers will be bigger than the biggest number in that set. So, for example, a set of 100, 200, and 300 is 600, larger than 300 because it's the sum of all the numbers in the set. And the bigger the set gets, the larger the number is in relation to the biggest number in the set. Are with me so far? Excellent. So it could be said that any set of natural numbers has a sum greater than any of the numbers in the set, given that the number of numbers in the set is more than one. Um, with the exception also of if you've got negative numbers. But if we're talking from naught upwards, as long as there are two or more numbers in a set, the sum of those numbers will be greater than the largest number in that set. So one, two, three makes six, it's bigger than three. One, two, three, four makes 10, bigger than 4, so on. So, my favorite big number is the summation of positive integers, which happens to include 1 million in the set. Therefore, I think you'll agree, when we get to it, my favorite number must, by our logic we've laid down so far, be bigger than 1 million, and therefore count as a mega favorite number. So what happens if we take the set of all natural numbers. That's one, two, three, four, all the way forever. This is known as a divergent series and in theory tends towards infinity. Infinity is not my favorite mega huge number because it's not technically a number. However, there's a method of working this out. The method of Seta function regularization and the Ramajun, Ramajuan, I can't say that name, Ramajun summation assign the series a value. Um, I think number file have done a video about this. Um, several people have. One, one of the bloggers I follow did a video where he argued that this wasn't the case, but as we're talking about my mega faith number, and this number is quite clearly bigger than a billion because it's bigger than all numbers, I think it counts. And that number is minus 112. Yeah. Minus 112 is, by this logic, bigger than a billion. Or a million or any other number, which is clearly an integer overflow error, and therefore proof positive that we live in a artificial computer construct. We are in fact sims. Yeah, speak well on that thought. Um, oh, I've got some notes here. Ramanujan's summation, if you sum all the natural numbers all the way to infinity, you will get a uh, find that they equal minus 1 over 12. I've done that bit already. I've already covered that, surely. I don't know why I put it in my notes twice. But there we are. My fave, uh, my mega fave number is minus 1 over 12 because it is the biggest number in the universe because of an integer overflow in the simulation in which we all live. Hmm. Anyway, that's quite enough of that. My head is pounding. You've been legends for watching this. Uh, please spread it far and wide. Um, I will see you in the next problem video. So stay nerdy.